Hello, hi, this is Vikram. It's April 2022, and uh, it's time for yet another release of some exciting new features in Victory, and, uh, and I'm very happy to share those with you. Again, thank you so much to our community uh, for their invaluable feedback, based on which uh, we release these features to you. So let me share this uh, quick demo with you. So these features, uh, that some of them I'm, I'm going to show you are in the article to video section. So as you know, in the article to video section, you can basically put any URL. So I just copied and pasted a URL to an article that I uh, published in the medium and, uh, and, and I'm going to let it run its AI and come up with a summary of the article. So after a few seconds of processing, you can see it uh, finds the, the most interesting sentences in the article and it comes up with a summary of the article. So these sentences uh, are now shown in this format here as you can see on the right side uh, where each sentence gets its own box and you will recognize this this kind of a display as common to our storyboard section as well. If you delete sentences this gets deleted from the from the, uh, from the right-hand side summary. So I can choose to add or remove sentences uh, in my summary section and, uh, and I can, and it basically appropriately uh, fixes the AI powered summary section here. Now I can also do a few, few more things. We didn't have this ability before. Uh, suppose you want to edit the text right here. So you can now go in there and, and do this editing right here. Um, so this is very, very useful because often the text in a blog is not written for, for summary videos uh, because sometimes the sentences might have transitions and, and you might want to, uh, you might want to change the sentences. So now you have the editing capabilities to remove transitions or change sentences. You also have the capability, capability to reorder these sentences. You can move it around and, uh, and get that. So. So you have a lot of very interesting editing tools right here as soon as the uh, the sentences are selected by the AI uh, for, for summary. So, so that's one big change that you can edit it and reorder the sentences right here uh, in the second step of the article to video function. Some of the other things that I wanted to show you is now you'll see a couple of other options and we'll see these options in the script to video sections as well where we can say, hey, I don't want to do auto visual selection or I don't want you to automatically highlight keywords for me. So the, the reason this is useful is sometimes uh, we found many of our customers, they, they have their own visuals or they want to apply a common visual across uh, the whole video. So they don't want to waste time on the auto visual selection. So you can turn it off. Uh, and also we've, we've had requests from many customers about this auto highlights uh, of keywords that they, they don't want it automatically, they wanna highlight the key, keywords themselves. So, so you can turn these options off and then you can go to the next step and now we're back in the same uh, storyboard section again. And uh, this time it got there very quickly because it didn't have to do any image search. Uh, AI didn't have to do any image search. Uh, and you can see the downside of that is all the scenes are black. So I can I now have to manually go assign it. Some scenes did get images because they were part of the article itself. So remember, um, our AI will read the images if they're in the article. And um, in this case, because we had the auto search off, the other images are black. And I can I can go back in there and do my manual search and, and add other images if I want to. And, uh, and do my usual thing uh, as, as, I, as we, we've always done before. So, so that's one part of, uh, of this that I wanted to show you. The other thing I wanted to show you is in the script to video section. So if you go to the script to video section, you can copy and paste the script uh, like, like we always had. And now you see the same scene settings option here as well. So you still have the option now to turn off the auto highlight of keywords. So the keywords are not automatically highlighted and you have the option to turn off the visual selection so you can uh, manually select the visuals. And then you have one other option here. And in this is basically, when do you wanna create new scenes? 
So by default, in the previous versions, we would, we would create scenes every time there's a sentence break uh, or a line break, and we would create scenes on both, on both options. Uh, now you have a choice. You can say, I just want a, a new scene when there's a line break. I don't care about sentence breaks. So now if I, if I go here, only a line, a line break will always create new scenes. Uh, a sentence break will not create new scenes. So I can have sentences carry over and they will not, uh, they will not uh, this, for example, this won't create a new scene between those two. This will be three different scenes uh, for three different lines. So since that's the option I selected to create scenes on line breaks itself. So let's go check it out again and, uh, and see if it does indeed do what I said it did. And so you can see here, this, uh, there are three separate scenes for the three different separate parts of the, the line breaks that we added. So there you have it. Those are some of the features I wanted to share with you today um, in Pictory in the April release. And uh, stay tuned for many other exciting features uh, that are coming in the, uh, in the next few weeks as well. Thank you.